Street Trainer Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods and today's topic of discussion is how do you know as the consumer whether you should use an herb or a superfood in a nourishing way or in a therapeutic slash medicinal way. So I'm going to go over both scenarios so you guys and girls out there have a, an idea of the most efficient and the best way to use the herbs and the superfoods on a daily basis. Okay? So, the first thing that you have to keep in mind is when you're making this decision, it's all about the intention, what you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to accomplish. Okay? <laughs> and once you're able to figure out, because that's a big question, when, when, when I've asked many people why they're using what they're using, they just say because they heard it's good for them. And that's not, that's not trying to achieve anything. That doesn't have any intention behind it. I would like to know what the person's intention is of why they're looking to use it. Otherwise, there's really no use to use it or need to use it in most cases. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> so let's start with if, how you would use something for the purpose of nourishing. Okay, so nourishing simply means that you're using these herbs and superfoods, you know, tonics, adaptogens, and superfoods in small amounts seven days a week, okay, for the simple purpose of giving your body the nourishment it needs to keep you in a, in a balanced state, mentally and physically, okay? It's as simple as that. There is no there is no need to go any more complex than using and utilizing that definition, okay? A small amount can be anywhere from a teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon to a full heaping teaspoon. But anything more than that is in most cases very much an unnecessary amount if you're using it for nourishing purposes, okay? Um, it... There, there's really, again, there's no reason, um, uh, you know, let me, let me back up a little bit here. Um, if you're using the whole powder versus an extract powder, the extract powder you would stay probably at that half a teaspoon amount, whereas the whole herb or whole food powder, you would use the full teaspoon amount as your nourishing daily amount, okay? Um, <clears throat> The, the purpose of using these is not to replace any of the nourishing foods that you put in your body like the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, the healthy fats, the seeds, and, things that, and the grass-fed meats and things of that nature. Those are not things that should be replaced by superfoods. They should be, made, they should be eaten in conjunction with your superfoods and your herbs, okay? Now, therapeutically using these foods, again, is about your intention. And the intention here, when you're using something therapeutically, is to use enough to give your body the support it needs in order to heal itself, okay? So basically, for a therapeutic amount, on average, you're looking at generally twice the amount that you would use for a nourishing amount. It could be more, it could be less. There is no perfect amount. Again, it is a seven day a week uh, scenario and consistency, consistency, consistency are the three most important things when you're using something in a therapeutic manner, okay? Um, the real thing that needs to be kept in your mind is, is that you only want to use something in a therapeutic or a medicinal manner for as long as you absolutely have to. So, once your body is in that healing process and the healing process has been complete for the most part and you're back in a balanced state, you can then back off and go back to your nourishing amounts. Again, there's no reason to have to stay on a therapeutic or medicinal amount any longer than what is absolutely necessary, okay? Because in most cases, if you stay on too high of an amount for too long, it will do more damage than good because remember, the objective here is not to overstimulate anything, it's to keep our bodies in balance, 
Okay, guys, so I hope the information I gave you today has, has been helpful to you and has solved some mysteries when it comes to how much do you use, how do I know when and where and, and, and all the whys and whatnots about using something nourishing versus using something therapeutically. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you next time.